What's up everyone, Matt here. I was just in the community and saw a pretty good question. Thought I'd throw a video on it. Disable add and enable edit if row already ex if already filled with data entry. What's up Biggie? I see this is the first time. Welcome to the community, man. So I know there are similar use case or questions for this. Basically what we want is for the user to initially add a data or initi initially meaning new data. After this gets filled in, disable the add button. I know we can use the key features, but some users are reporting it as a bug as the add button was there rather than it being edited directly. Okay, so Iggy, uh, the thing here with that add button the add button that you see there under that little list is technically the add button for the table that that list is of. So uh, I have a sample app here that I'll use. So this is a, it's the alternative order capturing app. I built this um, answering somebody others, somebody else's question. I'll put a link up in the thing in the description, whatever, if you want to watch that video too. Um, but the, uh, so the idea with this is that I've got a parent and I've got a child and with the child, I get this inline view. So that's similar to what you have in yours. You got the one in the, in the list. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to be able to, so two parts. First, you want to be able to remove this add button conditionally. And second, you want to be able to edit this when somebody taps on it. Let's do number two first, because it's a lot easier. Um, okay, so <clears throat> this view right here um, is, a sh is a smaller subsection of this larger view here, right? But it's all the same thing. So if you click on the little view thing, it'll take you to this master view. And then if you click this part down here, it'll take you to the view control. So like this thing controls that view. And so what you can do here is any changes you make here are affected over here. So like if I don't like the product being like that, I want to do them based on that. Or, you know, I was just thinking about this. Well, I don't have the time when they entered it. Never mind. So you can adjust different sortings and, and you know, anything that you do over there is reflected over here. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah. So what I want to do is um, so there is a thing called an event action down here at the bottom of this view. And right now it's set to auto and what auto does is when you tap on it it takes you to the to the details but we can take that over and we can say when someone taps on the row edit it so that if i'm here and i click on product three it takes me directly into the record to edit product number three so that's number one now number two or i'm sorry that's number two now number one Number one's a little more complicated because you can't control that add button based on data that's present inside uh, like a record. Like you're looking at a specific record with a specific child record and the add button is the thing that creates the child record, right? But the add button isn't aware of the child or the parent that it's sitting on because the add button is the one for the global table. Um, so this uh, view here is for, uh, I can do it this way. So this view here is for the table of order details. And so if we go to the behavior for order details, we can find this add button. And now, so like I said, this is, it's a global thing. It's, a, it's for the whole table. Um, so if I want to change this, right? So that I can't adjust this based on um, like the condition where you were wanting, like I wanna see it when, it's, when they haven't added it, but when they have added the record, I don't wanna see it. You can't do that fine tooth control on that thing down there. Uh, you can control whether or not it's seen on like a, on like a higher level. Um, and so that's this down here. You can say, do not display. And that reminds, that's my reminder, sorry. And that um, hides that add button, right? And so that gets rid of that and it makes it to where it's always gone, but that doesn't really solve half your problem. I mean, that solves half your problem. 
but what do you do when somebody needs to add something? Well, <clears throat> thankfully actions can solve that problem too. So what we want to do is so if I turn this back on and I click on this, what we want to do is go to this form here. Okay, so down here at the bottom, these little links here are amazing. If you click on the view one, it'll open up the place that we need to go. So this is the form that somebody needs to go to in order to fill in this order product detail thing. Um, so if you scroll down here to the bottom, you can get the name of this form really easy right here. And what we need to do is a thing called link to form. That's a, it's a deep link style action. Um, so this is going to live on the order table. So this is on the parent. And what we're going to do is we are going to do go to another view within this app, fourth one down. And the target will be a formula. It will say link to uh, form. Or, I'm sorry, let's just do link to view and paste our view name inside there. I don't want to do form because if I say link to form over here, that's a different thing where I have to provide it some details to like push into that form. I don't need to do that. I just, I just want to go to the view. So that's when we use link to view. I'll put details for these down below. Um, <clears throat> so with this here, now what we can do is we can create this button and show this. And so like, I'm going to say like add, new item and I'm going to make this like a plus and I'll just save this so we can see what it looks like really quick <clears throat> so now I've got this action up here and if I click this it takes me directly to this this order but okay now look what happened so when I said so so when I said that uh, we didn't need to use link to form because we didn't have any data to push into the into the form, yeah, it turns out we do. I completely forgot we've got the order detail uh, order link that we've got to connect. So we can't just go to the view because what that does is it leaves this order field blank. And so then the user's left to like, how, you know, they got to pick the right one. How do they know? You could clean this up so maybe it has their name and the date on it or whatever. But no, we just, we want to pre-populate that with something. And the way you do that is you use not link to view, but link to form, right? Uh, and with link to form, what you do is you say, um, first is the name of the form that you want to go to. So we want to go to the order detail form. And then after that, you have to provide it two pairs of details. Uh, a column inside the table for that form and a value you want to set it to. Uh, so if I go over here and we look at my schema for order details, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to set this order link. So I'll put that as the first one. The value I want it to, to set at is the order ID. And with that, what this does is it's almost the exact same thing as the last one that we had. We're saying go to this view, right? But this time for the order link, push into it the order ID for the record that I'm looking at, right? I'll save this really quick. <clears throat> and if I come back here to my building order and press it again, now notice we don't see the order thing. Uh, it's because it's set to only show when it's blank. So since it has a, uh, so like here, I'll prove it. So I'll pick product number one and I want a whole bunch of them. Product number one with a whole bunch. So that's how you can do, you can create a an action that will allow you to create one of your child records down here. Um, and now with, with this action living on this order table like this, you can make use of values from the specific record that this action is sitting on. So this action is like sitting on top of this record, which means it can look at all of the data that it's got underneath it. And so that's all of these. And so I can do something to where like for your use case, um, you would want it to be like uh, is blank 
order details, but I only wanted them to create one. So if I do this, let me do, let me show you how this will work. This is, all right, I'm gonna complete that order. I'm gonna start a new one, so it's empty. Okay, so if I go back to my behavior and I go to this order details, add action, and say do not display, so we can't see that anymore. So now there's no way for the users to add items to this from the actual order detail. There's no add thing down there. They have to press that button. <clears throat> and now remember this button is aware. It's sitting on top of this record that we're looking at. So it's aware of all the details. And I've said to only show when this is blank. So right now we see it. I'm going to create a record. I'm going to grab product number one. I'm going to save this. And now look, the action went away. So we can't do that anymore. And there's no add button down here. So we can't do that anymore. And we've set this uh, table up here to where when I click on it, it takes me to edit it. So there you go. I, uh, did I miss anything else? Nope. That's exactly what you wanted. Well, there you go, Iggy. I hope it helps. Uh, yeah. Let me know if you have any further questions, comments, rants, raves, whatever. Let me know.